Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. My name's Glenn and today we're going to have a little look at the brand new 2022 set that Blowout.com have just announced for the F1 hobby. So let's get right into it. Okay, so before I show you that set, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's been smashing up the like button on all these videos. It helps get as many eyes as possible on the hobby and also to all the new subscribers. Uh, but at the time of recording this video, I believe we're going to hit over 600 subscribers now. So that is awesome news. Well done to all of you out there for hitting that milestone. I'm going to be doing a free giveaway when we hit 750 subscribers. So we only need another 150 and keep an eye out. Tick the little bell notification so you get notified when I go live and I'll be giving out some free F1 cards to you viewers out there. The last one was really successful. I really enjoyed doing the last one. Right, so today we're gonna have a little look at a new set that's just got announced and that is Flagship 2022. So I actually knew that this was coming just through rumors that I'd heard from Tops themselves. And uh, in preparation for that, I've been opening up on my channel some flagship 2021 in a chase for some relic cards, which I've now pulled. <laughs> if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you go onto my channel and uh, go back and watch those videos. Uh, we go through what is included in the 2021 set of flagship, but that's old news. We don't want to know about 2021. Come on, Glenn, it's 2022 now. So we're going to look at the brand new set that's just been announced. So this is on blowout.com. The set potentially could arrive on September the 14th, which is only a month away. As of recording this video, it's August the 3rd. So we only have a month to wait until these bad boys hit the market. Um, obviously, they're going to be the paper product, which haven't been as popular as Chrome. But still, some really good images. Obviously, you guys know me. I like to complete one of every set, so I'm going to complete this no matter what material it's made out of. <laughs> so I need to get get my uh, jog on. So um, it says here that it's the second season with a meaty base set, and it includes raced, used fire suit relics, and that's going to be your main chase card. So. I have one of the relics here from last year. You can see here Yuki Sonoda, good old Yuki. And it came with this little relic here and it says on the back, congratulations, you have just received a top certified relic from 2021 Formula One Racing. But then in the small print below that, which I'm gonna read out to you now, it says, this relic contained on this card is not from any specific race event, event or season. So a lot of people got annoyed about that because they thought, hang on a minute, so there's no guarantee that this is race worn. And then some people actually sat there and picked the white bit of fabric out and it became like an ongoing joke that they were, were gonna be ref referred to as napkins. And uh, a lot of people talk about napkins. If you look at these relics, they all have almost the same looking fabric. It does look odd. They look like they've just color coded the bit of fabric that is in there. now. That's not to say that this isn't actually from one of their uniforms, but yeah, that's it, it didn't sit right with a lot of F1 card collectors. Um, so the actual set itself dropped quite a bit. So will this new set be more of the same or will they actually guarantee that they are race worn on a race event or something like that? I don't know the answer to that. Um, if we have a little look back at what cards they've got. We'll, we'll have a look at some of these images in a minute. Uh, but it says here that there's gonna be a 200 card base set uh, and there's gonna be 12 foil parallels per card. So you're gonna have uh, a rainbow card or, or a refractor, I would imagine, the checkered flag card, an aqua, a, a fuchsia, a yellow, blue, green, gold, orange, black, red, and super fractors, or they've put their foil fractors. Relics can be found in every other box with 50 cards to chase and blue, green, black, uh, red, foil fractor parallels at the same volumes. Along with the inserts, clean air, blue skies cards for 10 drivers with gold, red, foil fractures. So they, they, they're talking about the inserts. You're gonna be able to get parallel versions of the inserts. And this is quite new. There will be box toppers. So I assume these mean like sort of jumbo cards that you get from like turbo attacks. Um, probably the size of 
the box, I would imagine. Um, and they come in gold, orange, red, and uh, so forth. And uh, you're also going to have Art Dewar Grand Prix cards for five drivers blown up with postcard style backs. So that's going to be really interesting. Um, I really like the look of these images here. These are, I, I don't know, I assume that's the postcard size cards that they were referring to. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to chase those. Uh, but then we've got these relics here. So this was really sort of the downfall of last year's set. Um, are these actual race worn relics or are they just napkins? Um, and we don't know the answer to that. I mean, if you look at the Charles Leclerc one, these obviously mock images, uh, but they look the same. It'd be nice if they had, I don't know, a bit of detail, a bit of logo, something in there that you could say, okay, that is from his uniform. Uh, but that's what's coming out. It says in there September the 14th. So we may only have to wait a month to find out. Obviously, I'm going to try my best to get hold of some just because obviously I want to complete some uh, sets of it and also obviously chase some of those. I want to get a set of the checkered flag, uh, plus also get some, um, obviously as many relics as possible, and hopefully some Lewis Hamilton one of ones, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> some non-damaged one of ones would be nice around here, I can tell you that for sure. Um, so yeah, that's it really. So what do you guys think of these images of 2022? Will you be chasing it or does the paper stock just really put you off of collecting this set? If you're someone like me, I find that this is a really good set to go in between the jump from turbo attacks to chrome. It sort of like fits nice in the middle uh, because it's a fairly cheap product. Uh, I say fairly cheap for a hobby product. It's a cheap product, a um, lot cheaper than chrome. Uh, but you're getting the same images. In last year's one, you got loads of inserts. Plus you had the chance of winning a relic. Mm -hmm. And then you had one of ones, and then you had all these other parallels. And now this set is gonna have the box toppers. So uh, I do actually think that this is balanced very well uh, they're sort of trying to mark every sort of price range. So if you want to just spend £2 a pack, that's your turbo tax. If you want to go up to sort of £10 a pack, then you're looking at these. If you want to go to £30 a pack, then you're looking at Chrome. And if you want to go to £2,000 per pack, <laughs> then you've got F1 Dynasty. Um, quite a big jump there. Obviously, Sapphire fits in between that as well. They, they work out sort of £50 a pack. Um, so yeah, they're trying to cover all sort of like price ranges. So it depends whether you feel these are good enough value for money. Like I say, the price of last year's ones have dramatically dropped, like the boxes of them. That's why I've been open mine up because I just think, oh, I'm, I'd rather open them for those sort of prices. Um, and I'm really looking forward to obviously, we're gonna get our first glimpse of 2022 images and 2022 parallels. So if, we, if last year's anything to go on, the paper stock was identical. It was exactly the same images and everything, but for Chrome. So, you know, if you want to get as close as you can to collecting a Chrome set, but without spending £400 per box, then this flagship is ideal for you. And uh, to be honest, they're saying that I, I quite enjoy opening product when there isn't like a massive weight on my shoulders. You know, like if you're buying a box for six, seven, eight hundred pounds, two grand, you sort of like opening it thinking, God, I hope I get something good, otherwise I've just wasted, you know, all that money. Uh, whereas when you're only paying like £100 per box and you're getting like 200 cards, well, that, you know, that's like 50p a card. So then you don't mind, you know, like if you only get a couple of like cheaper cards. Um, that's my opinion. I, I, maybe I'm completely wrong. I'd love to hear what you think. Please comment down below. Do you find it more pressure and actually not so much enjoyable if the product is more expensive. I know that some people out there have higher budgets and they love opening up rare or expensive product and chasing those one of ones, one of fives. Uh, but for us mere mortals, <laughs> people that are on a budget, uh, I like opening flagship and turbo tax because it just, there's no pressure. Like if I open it and I don't get a parallel, I don't. I just think, oh, well, I've just wasted like two pound or 10 pound or whatever. So it's not too bad. So I really like these products. I can't wait for these to come out. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Will you be avoiding the flagship altogether or will you be chasing the flagship uh, relics when they come out 
maybe mid-September, so only in a month or so's time. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below. You can always reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all with the name Hammond's Hobbies. Or you can join the F1 group where if you want to discuss this with not just me, but everyone that's joined sort of the Hammond's Hobbies crew, then head on over to F1 Sports Cards on Facebook. And there's plenty of guys there that would happily give you their opinions that would be maybe completely different to mine. So uh, feel free to join that. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video from myself where we'll be opening up some more F1 products and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.